C-2017 K2, Pan Stars. Astronomers first spotted the comet in 2017 using the Pan Stars Survey Instrument in Hawaii. At the time, they said it was the farthest active inbound comet they'd yet seen. It was between the orbits of Saturn and Uranus when they first saw it. Now it's in the inner solar system, with closest approach to Earth on July 14th. The comet will be closest to the Sun several months later, on December 19th, 2022. With a small telescope, you should be able to spot the comet throughout the summer. If you are new to our channel, Secrets of Space, please subscribe to us for astronomy updates. Discovered in May 2017 at a distance beyond the orbit of Saturn when it was 16 astronomical units, 2.4 billion kilometer, from the Sun. C-2017 K2, Pan Stars, is an Oort cloud comet with an inbound hyperbolic orbit, discovered in May 2017 at a distance beyond the orbit of Saturn when it was 16 astronomical units, 2.4 billion kilometer, from the Sun. If the name Comet Pan Stars rings a bell, that's because there are many of them. Pan Stars is a sky survey that is particularly good at spotting new asteroids, comets, supernovae and the like. This is Comet C-2017 K2, Pan Stars. At its discovery, K2 was 1.49 billion miles, 2.4 billion kilometer, from the Sun. 16 times farther away than the Earth is from the Sun. Astronomers spotted this behemoth comet, about 100 times the size of a normal comet. Comet Burn Burn will have its closest approach on January 21, 2031. But you have nothing to fear from it, as it will be slightly farther away than Saturn's orbit. Below we have star charts through August to help you spot K2. Although it appears to be a large comet, it will probably remain a telescope object because it will pass some 168 million miles, 270 million kilometer, from Earth. It should brighten to magnitude 8 or even 7, still too dim for the unaided eye. But you can easily spot an object of this magnitude in a small telescope. The darker the skies, the better the contrast will be. How large is C-2017 K2? Initial observations from the Canada-France-Hawaii Telescope CFH, suggest a nucleus with a diameter of about 18 to 100 miles, 30 to 160 kilometers. But observations with the Hubble Space Telescope indicate the nucleus should be smaller, at some 11 miles, 18 kilometers, or less. If the name K2 reminds you of the second largest mountain on Earth, also named K2, Keep in mind that the mountain is 28,251 feet, 8,611 meters, tall. If the comet K2 is around 11 miles or 18 kilometers, a reasonable estimate, that translates to about 58,000 feet or 18,000 meters. In other words, the comet K2 dwarfs the mountain K2, which is about half its size. Comet C-2017 K2, Pan Stars, is now passing by open cluster IC 4665 in Ophiuchus. The comet is barely visible now in handheld binoculars. I estimated its magnitude at magnitude 8.8 .8 on June 19 and magnitude 8.6 on June 20 through a 3-inch telescope. The brightness of comets is unpredictable, however, as we know. The comet also has a short tail, but that is most apparent in images. Currently, it appears to be on a brightening trend. This shot is a composite of two nights. What to expect? Observers using a small telescope, preferably from a dark sky site, should be able to see a diffuse or fuzzy patch of light, the coma around the nucleus of Comet C-2017 K2. Careful observations using averted vision at the telescope may reveal the coma is really big compared to other comets. A hint of the comet's tail might be visible, while long exposure images should reveal the comet and its tail in all its glory. 
huge coma on C-2017 K2. Another indication that suggests C-2017 K2 is large, or at least very active, is that observations showed it developed a cometary atmosphere or coma with a diameter of about 81,000 miles, 130,000 kilometers. That's a sphere of gases 10 times the diameter of planet Earth, or almost as big as the diameter of planet Jupiter. That's huge. Also, some early observations detected an incredibly large tail, some 500,000 miles, 800,000 kilometers, long. Scientists think that comets that are too far from the Sun shouldn't sublimate huge amounts of ice. So this comet's activity is probably driven by a mix of ices with substances like nitrogen, carbon dioxide, carbon monoxide and molecular oxygen. When will we see the next bright comet? Comet C-2022 E3, ZTF, is expected to be as bright as magnitude 5 in January 2023. After that, the next possible good one appears to be Comet 12 p Pons Brooks, which might reach magnitude 5 or 4 in March 2024. Also if you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit the like button, and subscribe to our channel, Secrets of Space, for astronomy updates. Thank you for watching.